Hello dear friends and uh, today I am doing a trying I am doing an effort I am trying to see if I dare to look at the mirror and look at you to make uh, a presentation these couple of days we have done uh, I attended some training and uh, and I have seen some uh, some people giving speech training, how to make a speech, how to make a presentation. And I was very motivated and inspired. So now I use you as my sample to see if I can do that job. And um, I saw all these motivational talkers, the not say talkers, the, the motivational speakers, they are full of energy, full of confidence. And uh, unfortunately, I do not have those confidence, I do not have that much energy. So I just want to try. If I do the things my own way, which is truly myself, I am confident to be myself. And uh, trying to be somebody else, trying to say something different from what my heart wants me to say, may not be the right way for me. And uh, so I think I will do this, uh, this effort. I'm a little bit lost. So, so today I got my heart all bubbling with this energy, with these thoughts, with this dream. I used to be in the, in the business part and, uh, and then uh, I stopped, put my time and my energy in the, in the family and also because of family reason. And now I think I am almost at the turning point that going back to my dream to what I usually, what I always dreamed about, to be a strong person, to be a better person. I, I am still am, am I? So, <clears throat> um, the first question, because this, this speech is not prepared at all. I was just having this bubbling energy inside my heart and I want to make and try and, uh, and too many thoughts in my heart and just cannot sort it through. And uh, I am also trying to understand because my, my sons, my children and a lot of our students are in the stage of making a presentation. So they recite what they have written and, um, and it's kind of, um, it is actually a very challenging job because uh, you need to recite everything. And if I have something written, might be a little bit better, but may, might, be, might be away from my, what I originally thought. So still I'm lingering around by the beginning. So one of the very important thing to make a confident speaker is that you are confident in your heart and uh, you know what you are talking about. Sometimes if you are not talking the right thing, the correct thing, the word you do not want to say, there is always chance you correct it because people, when people receiving something, when they hear something, they may not immediately reflect and think and get it right or understand. So sometimes you need repetitively saying something. So even if you have one time making mistake, do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. Keep on, carry on and follow the flow as long as you have confidence, you, are, you know what you say and you know how you make things right, even at some times you do not make it right, people will give you a second chance. Or when yourself give, you, give yourself a second chance, 
you can make it right. And uh, when you make speech, make eye contact. My eyes, sorry, I do not need, need that mirror now. My eyes to your eyes. Or oh, sometimes it's not so comfortable to look at your eyes, right? I understand. And uh, then you look at people's head. This makes you feel as if you are looking at them. Actually, you are not scared by looking at people's eyes. It is very scary to look at people's eyes, especially when we are so close, right? When you are so close together, it is, uh, it is quite intimidating. You are entering into a very, very, um, a very special world. It's another person's heart or another person's eye. Eyes are the window of our heart. So be confident. Look at the people's eyes. Look at the people you are talking to. Look at their eyes and look at their forehead, maybe. And um, another very important thing. Talk. Your talk. You are confident, you are comfortable to talk slowly. Then make your presentation slowly. Talk your talk slowly. If you yourself is a very hot, um, fast speed, like uh, Speedy Gonzalez or like uh, Speedo, Speedo Torpedo Speed, vroom, talk so many things, you can go that way. If you are slow like me, then do it that way. Be that way. Talk slowly. Talk comfortably. Talk with courage. Talk with thoughts. Talk with um, caution. Talk with uh, attention. Mostly talk sincerely with your heart. Then people can understand you. And people will appreciate a good, kind, sincere heart. And uh, on the way, when I was driving, I was just thinking, people, the motivational talker, they are all very quick, very strong, very speed, very speedy, talking very speedy. How can people be motivated by a person who is talking so slow like me? If that is you, be you. There's no choice. You cannot change yourself to be a fast talker just because other people are that way. No, that is not you. You are you. I am I. You are you. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. This might be already too long to bore you to death. I got some people, some friends uh, message and asking me about something I have not checked out. Maybe I will do another video about it. And uh, every day, every morning when I drive to school, when I came back from school, anyway, in the car, I listen to some video there, uh, listen to some radios. And a lot of time, there are a lot of commercials. I, was, I feel really very um, not stimulated in a good sense. Uh, irritated, what is the word to, to, to use? I need to improve my vocabulary first. Uh, you feel that they are, they are invading your quiet, peaceful life by this very noisy, very pushy advertisement. So sometimes I choose some other KQED video, KQED uh, radio or some other radio and uh, listen to people talking about something, something not important. Buying a mattress is not important and uh, having a sleep number is important. But um, listening to to the scientist about uh, talking about dream, about uh, our body is not important. We have lived so many years, we can live without them talking about it, right? Uh, this is another topic I will talk about. So, t 
Yesterday, I was listening to a video to talk about dream. It's very interesting. The bad dream and nightmares are a fantastic thing because、uh, I have not yet thought through very well. But according to the speaker, to the presenter, nightmares. There is a message. I may not use exactly the same word as she was using. She wrote a book about it. There is a message in bad dreams. So often times we we ignore those bad dreams, and then the bad dreams keep coming, 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 because there is a message, and you ignored it. And heaven intentionally want you to get it, and、uh, so push these、uh, these nightmares to you, the kashma nightmares to you all the time, until you take attention, you pay attention, take action. Those nightmares will be will be gone, and、uh, I think this is very very true in my own case. Because I had some nightmare, and、uh, about driving tired, I cannot see through because、uh, some wind blow a newspaper on the window. That was the dream, and I just even used wind wiper. I cannot blow it away, sweep it away, and、uh, I think that exact week there was something happened in my car. Yes, and.、Uh, I think there is a message, and then、uh, a few weeks or months later, I had another bad dream, also about driving. So this time I took, I paid attention every time when I drive. Especially, the nightmare was when I was driving in a big ramp in a big. Uh, a bridge. Then something suddenly happened. I cannot control. So I took attention because every day when I go to school or when I come back from school, there is a high raised ramp and bridge. So every time when I go there, I go slowly or, or I cannot slow down too much. But I really pay a lot of attention. So there was no accident happening yet. Maybe. So, but I did not have any nightmare about that any longer. So, there is something that behind all the nightmares. And、uh, another thing this lady talk about is about children have more dream. Why it seem why it seems that children have more dreams, and when we are adult, we do not have that much dream. Her explanation is that the children's mindset was always in that dreaming mindset. So, even even in their life, they are living in a kind of dream. So, dream is one part of their life. It's it's a big deal. They they put much more attention, so they remember. And for adult, for us, we have、uh, so many daily routine, quotidian things, and、uh, we seem forgot the importance of dream. And、uh, when we have dream, we tend to forget it unconsciously, not remembering, not remembering, it, not remembering it. So it seems that. Young children and adult, we have the same amount of dream. That's according to her. But、uh, I think there is a, there is a, there is a very valid source reasoning behind it. So I like this、uh, this、uh, this talk, and also I heard a lot of other talks. Which is、um, very interesting. So maybe I should conclude my my talking, my boring talking to you right now because、uh, because I'm running out of topic. I should、uh, 
I will prepare a little bit, check uh, what is the video, re video request, and then talk to you a bit later. Okay? I do not mean you should sleep, okay? This one is nothing to do with falling asleep. If you fall asleep, it means I am so, so, so boring. Bye-bye, friends.